Good morning, welcome to the Rabbis YouTube channel. I could not sleep too well tonight. It's uh, 5.45 a.m. right now. Anyway, I was reading uh, through the news and on my Teletrader trading app in the news feed I did read from 2009 today that Google announces to change the YouTube advertising again in a bid to protect users, advertisers and creators from inappropriate content and bad actors bad actors and uh, it mainly means that new channels will need to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months to be ele eligible for ads the new requirement for existing channels in the YouTube partner program will be enforced from February 20th. Uh, so, new requirements for existing channels they write here. So this probably means that new, new channels or existing channels, that's not entirely clear. But if the latter is true and they enforce it for existing channels, this means my channel will be once again demonetized for uh, technical reasons without me doing anything wrong. And even in the other case, what do you think a honest guy, a honest YouTuber starting he does not have a thousand subscribers and he will need years like I do. My channel is here for whew, what is it? Is it nearly 10 years now that my channel is on? Of course I did not do any uh, many videos in uh, several years but anyway so uh, I have to admit this this news is not entirely clear. Will YouTube now just punish any anybody starting right now or will they punish people being here for many years but just not getting enough views? Uh, it sounds quite a bit like the latter. So Anyway, what I want to state is I did not nag everybody to subscribe to my channel. I did not buy followers, fake followers. I did not even join a network which is uh, quite legitimate after all. I just am here, I'm doing videos and I'm talking to my friends a bit about doing videos and I'm relying on organic growth. So I definitely, I'm defini definitely or at least personally I think I'm not in the category of inappropriate content and bad actors. Except if uh, bad actors means just uh, that I'm not doing good movies on YouTube. I guess that was not meant. Because uh, I'm not a native uh, English speaker, so actor, I, I know actor as movie actors. I guess in this time it's just meant uh, people who act badly. At least I hope so, because uh, most of the YouTubers I know are not actors at all. <laughs> but they are not fiction movie makers. So anyway, I guess this is a semantic detail. I think I know how to understand it. 
But I have to say, by imposing some qu quantity limits, number of views, number of viewers, number of hours viewed, you can't ensure quality. I'm afraid, but I'm I'm 100% sure that by measuring quantity you can't get quality. You can. I know the technical problems YouTube has, and that they don't want to employ uh, 500,000 people just reviewing videos for quality. But it sounds for me just like another move to rate down every, any small people, uh, the, the honest and small business, tiniest business YouTubers. Uh, and they can't catch the ones that are really bad. Because if I copied Hollywood movies to my channel, or to numerous channels and so I would get tons of views I, I guess by just copying one single Hollywood movie and they are all already readily available in the net we, we all know they are available in the internet the day they hit the cinemas in the USA or even before and if I would look into it I'm an IT professional after all I would find them if I put them up on my channel I would get more views than I ever got in the whole year or more than a year where I produced around 250 videos now original works Sure, not all of them are good, but we talk about quantity, do we? Because we can't talk about quality in this context anyway. So, if I just had put up five uh, copied Hollywood blockbusters or even TV shows from Netflix, some friend of mine and a friend of the friend got it and so, and so on, I would have more views. And I would be probably eligible for for advertising under the new uh, regime uh, without having played fair. But I played fair the whole time, so I'm again in great risk to get demonetized a second time as a whole channel in this administrative move. I'm quite sure I can't stop YouTube from doing what they do. But if they consider to once really work for the honest guys, for the small guys, the ones not, not nagging everybody, for the ones not copying content which works well for the ones not buying paid followers, fake followers, for, for the ones simply playing fair, if they would for a change really work for them, uh, yeah, it would be really nice actually. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, as you know I'm Swiss, yeah, I, you can probably see it. And you know, Swiss people are most of the time trying to be polite. And so am I right now. Just to put it into the right perspective. Thank you for watching. And I know the ones watching it are not the ones that are the problem. Those are the guys that found me by some organic growth or because they know me from somewhere. I know I have no paid fake followers and I'm very happy with it. After all, I prefer to be honest instead of 
being eligible for YouTube advertising.